news, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to episode two of the Industrial Packaging Podcast with me, your host, Nathan Doobie, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about stretch film, also known as stretch wrap. We're going to talk about this amazing material, what it is commonly used for, and the devices that are used to apply it to pallets. So, without further ado, let's get into it, exploring the different types of stretch wrap. Stretch wrapping is one of the more common ways for unitizing products for transport. However, just because a pallet is wrapped and looks good to the naked eye does not mean it is wrapped well, efficiently, or more importantly, safely. When the proper stretch wrapping is negated, problems can arise during shipping. Depending on the severity of the problem, your business may end up with a bruised reputation or potential safety issues. So first things first, what is stretch film? Stretch film, or stretch wrap, is an extremely elastic plastic wrap that is stretched around various products such as pallets or boxes, for shipping and transportation purposes. The elastic recovery, or stretchability, of the film secures the products and ensures that they are tightly bound. It is often implemented in the unitizing of various products, but can also be leveraged for packaging bundles of small objects. Stretch wrap sticks tightly to itself and is used in millions of companies across the world. Now, there are a lot of different types of stretch film, which include machine stretch, cast stretch, blown stretch, pre-stretch, hay baling stretch, hand stretch, color stretch, UVI stretch, VCI stretch, vented stretch, reinforced stretch, and no cling stretch. In the next section, we're going to go over each of these different types of films and explain their differences and their applications. So first, we are going to discuss the different types of machine stretch, which includes cast stretch, blown stretch, pre-stretch, and hay baling stretch. Machine stretch films are applied to a pallet of products specifically with stretch wrapping machines. Now, machine stretch films are superior to hand stretch films in various ways, including but not limited to quicker and greater efficiency in packaging, lower material spend, greater safety, and most importantly, superior load containment. So let's begin exploring machine stretch films by starting with cast stretch. Cast stretch film is made by applying a comprehensive manufacturing operation called cast extrusion. This action mandates the continual thrusting of a thermoplastic substrate into a flat die and then onto a cooled roll. The film gauge is resolved by how quickly the casting roll drags the plastic away from the die. This treatment causes cast films to boast superior clarity, allowing for end users to observe the wrapped products. This film stretches easier due to the molecules being aligned as they are extruded. Cast stretch film is exceedingly quiet when being removed from the roll, unlike many other types of film. And it's fairly simple to stretch. Cast stretch film also provides two-sided cling that grants wrapped product the ability to remain firmly wrapped during transportation. While cast stretch film has multiple fantastic attributes such as a more affordable cost than blown film, it does not hold a candle to blown film in sustaining strength or protection against tearing. Cast stretch film is generally able to stretch with ease but does not have as robust of a stretch memory as some other films. Moving on through our exploration of machine stretch films, we come to blown stretch. Blown stretch film is created through a function called blown extrusion. This operation involves plastic melt being pushed into a circular slit die, which in turn results in a refined tube. Next, air is pushed into the tube, granting the volume of air enclosed to expand the tube to the optimal width. The tube is topped with an air ring, which is then blown onto the substrate to chill. This operation of chilling the material provides the blown film with greater strength and more flexibility than other wraps. Now, as blown film is generally stronger than the majority of other stretch wraps, it also boasts a greater resistance to tearing. This is advantageous when attaining loads that contain pointy edges which are vulnerable to collapsing thinner films. Blown films provide a high degree of memory when stretched. This means that packages remain secured. Unfortunately, blown film is more expensive and has poorer transparency compared to other films. It also produces what some consider an annoying level of noise when compared to other similar films. Next, we have pre-stretch film. Pre-stretched film is expanded near its breaking point before it is wrapped onto rolls. This film does not necessitate as much energy as other stretch films to achieve the same wrapping force, which means pre-stretched film consumption often uses around 50% less than other stretch films, making for potentially extreme cost reductions. Now, last but not least in the machine stretch film section, we have hay baling stretch film. Hay baling stretch film is a multi-layer specialty stretch wrapping substrate made for wrapping baled rolls of hay. 
It is used primarily in the agricultural and farming industries. Also known as silage stretch wrap, many types of these wraps feature LDPE, that is low density polyethylene, formulations with oxygen barriers to keep your hay bales dry. Okay folks, next we're gonna move on to non-machine stretch films, starting with hand stretch film. Hand stretch film is made exclusively to be wrapped by human labor manually. It is also known as hand film, hand stretch wrap, hand wrap, or manual pallet wrap. It is commonly used by companies who wrap small volumes of products. Generally speaking, that would be companies who wrap less than 50 pallets per day. Capabilities of manual stretch film must be continually checked against the various potential improvements that come with switching to a stretch wrapping machine. Selecting the proper stretch application for your packaging line will make for higher efficiencies and a more cost-effective production. Alrighty then, moving on to the next type of stretch film, we have color stretch film. Color stretch films were created to serve a very specialized niche area of packaging needs that other stretch film types cannot properly service. Color stretch film is perfect for warehousing color coding, international transportation, or dating inventory. Color stretch wrap is designed to be resistant to puncture. Next up, we have UVI stretch film. Ultraviolet stretch film is a stretch film with special light discouraging additives that defend it from photogenic degeneration in applications where wrapped products are kept outside and are exposed to the elements. Moving on from there, we come to VCI stretch film. VCI, or vapor corrosion inhibitor stretch film, is made specifically for wrapping metal components so they don't rust. This formulation prevents the oxidation of metals and is commonly used to package tools, metal pipes, and other metal products or materials. Following that, we have reinforced stretch film. Reinforced stretch films are thick films with especially strong formulations that are used to package and protect extremely heavy loads for transportation and shipping. For example, this type of film is commonly used for the palletizing and unitizing of bricks and cinder blocks. Next up, we have vented stretch film. Vented stretch film is commonly utilized in applications where airflow and oxygen needs to be available to the products being packaged. For example, wrapping pellets of wood or hot bakery items. Okay, next item on the docket is no cling stretch film. No cling stretch film is used for packaging products such as carpeting so that the products being packaged can slide on and over each other without getting caught and tearing. There is also a variant of no cling stretch film that has only one side that clings called one-sided cling stretch film. And finally, we come to specialty stretch films. In some cases, specialized types of wrapping projects require the implementation of what's called performance films with multiple layers that have very high stretch capabilities. In addition, gauge reductions can be used resulting in uncommon thicknesses of stretch films for similar applications. And there you have it, folks, the different types of stretch film. In conclusion, I would like to say that after familiarizing yourself with the different types of stretch film listed above, you will be able to start formulating your ideas on which is the best fit for your company and the products you are packaging with the packaging machinery or labor force that you have. Depending on your budget, packaging line, and machinery or lack thereof, you may still not be sure which stretch film is right for you. It would be well advised for you to consider reaching out to at least three vendors and asking for recommendations on a film that would best suit your unique needs. Getting a professional analysis of your packaging line, machinery, labor force, and current materials is also a good idea. With the information provided by said analysis, you will be able to choose the best stretch wrapping solution for your business. Finally, a quality preventative maintenance program is something you should consider because it will ensure that you are always running the best choice of stretch wrap for your particular applications, and it also allows you to optimize your machinery and materials on a regular basis. As time moves on, this program will allow for expert advice on making changes as new advancements in stretch wrap develop through technological innovation, product considerations, and the types of equipment that you are using. Well, everybody, that about does it for episode two of the Industrial Packaging Podcast. I thank you for tuning in with me, your host, Nathan Duby, Digital Marketing Specialist at Industrial Packaging. I invite you to tune in for the next episode, where we will be discussing carded packaging. But until then, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.